Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to my baby owl corn tutorial, or it could be a pegasus, a unicorn, a horse, whatever you want it to be. Check out the band counts in the description, depending on what you want to make. I will be, be making the alicorn, so it is a pegasus and a unicorn. Um, this tutorial is dedicated to Catherine Mitchell. Yay, Catherine, I'm so glad that my designs have made an impact in your life. Um, that is one of the main goals of my... Um, looming is to impact people's lives so I'm so glad that I helped you out and um, I hope you keep looming and anybody else who I've impacted um, so glad I could help you out with that okay um, you will be needing two looms for this project um, that we're gonna start with the head okay so I have my loom set up in the offset this column here doesn't really matter right now so I just have it like right next to the one next to it but you do need it to be shaped kind of like an arrow here okay we're gonna start with the head the head takes up a lot of double looped bands I'm just warning you now okay we're gonna start with the ear so I'm gonna double loop a white band and I'm gonna do that several times here. Alright, and then I'm going to go this way. Okay, and then I'm going to double loop across like this. Here. I'm going to take um, a green sparkle. Okay, and a blue sparkle. Or glitter, actually they're called glitter. Take your hook Take the green. This is the color of the inside of the ear. You can always do it a different color if you want to. Wrap it around creating five loops. Okay, then we're going to double loop a white band. Pull that on to the white band and place the two loops of the white band on the ends here. Okay, and now I'm going to use the blue glitter. Same thing. Wrapping it around creating five loops, then double looping a white Pulling it on and putting that here. All right, and now I'm going to cap off the end here by wrapping a white band around, creating four loops. Two, three, four. Okay, and now I'm going to dig down and I'm going to loop the bands. You should not under you should understand basic looming if you're doing this project. Okay. And if my bands snap during this tutorial, I'll, I have to go back and fix them. So you'll just have to deal with the uh, delays if there are any. Or you could just fast forward, you know, just don't miss anything important. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to gently take a holding hook, put that on, and take off the rest. Okay, or you could tie off the loose end. You will need to make two ears. So once you have it on your holding hook, you're just going to push the colored part outward and then when you turn it around the back should be pretty much filled in with white. You can see it a little bit, but it's not a big deal, okay? So make two ears, okay? Now we're going to work on the cheeks. So I'm actually going to move this column down just temporarily to here. Again, I am double looping my white bands. down and take the white band and cap off here by wrapping around creating four loops. You will need to make two of these. You can make them exactly the same. Okay. So you know you can do the other one right underneath this one if you want to. Okay, 
I always grab the top bands first, which are these two and then these two. All right, I'm gonna take four bands of any color, it doesn't matter. These are scrap bands that we're using to tie slip knots through the four ends here. I always do this in my tutorials. It can be annoying, but it holds the parts together. Okay, and then we are going to gently lift the cheek off. So once you're done with this, you should have two of these little cheeks, okay? All right, now that we've done that, we're gonna work on the head. If you've done the adult version, the head is pretty much the same, um, except it's with double looped bands instead of single bands. So we are double looping our bands, okay? Now I'm going to be using the solar blue at the tip of the snout. And you can do the same, or you can change the color or leave it white, you know, whatever you plan on doing. So these are all double looped. Okay, now I'm going to change to the solar. Okay, so I'm double looping the solar blue. Going back to the white here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my hook to untwist these bands because a lot of them are twisted up and really don't want that so much. We want it to look nice, so I'm just going to untwist. Okay, now we're going to make the eye. Okay, I'm actually going to use solar green bands for the eyes. And I'm also going to, oops, keeping over the heater. I'm going to be using two solar green bands. Okay, so, okay. I'm going to take a solar green, whatever your eye color is, and you're going to wrap it around your hook, creating four loops. Then I'm going to take a black, that's the color of the pupil, two, three, four loops with that. Then you're going to take two loops of the eye color and bring them onto the other side of the black, like that. Then you're going to take your eyelid color. I'm actually just going to do, um, I'm just going to do the blue again. Double loop it. Put it on your hook all the way to the end here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to twist it into an eight and just bring the loop back over the hook like that. Okay? So you have a little eyelid there. Right? Pretty simple. Then you're going to take two white bands and pull. Them all onto. Oops, in order. Make sure you pull them in order, otherwise the eye will be all twisted. Onto those two white bands. Place them here, like that. Okay. Let's do the eye on the other side. So again, taking another green, wrapping around, creating four loops. Taking a black, Oops. Like that, taking two loops of the green onto the other side of the black, taking your eyelid color, double looping it, putting it there, twisting it into a figure eight, dropping it, grab two whites, pull them on the hook in order. Okay. Drop it here and here. Okay. If 
I'm just adjusting my pupil because the one loop is really big. There, okay. Now, again, we're going to go back to double looped white bands. Like that. Okay, and other side. And back to the solar blue. Okay. So all the ones here at the tip are all solar blue. And the rest here and up are white except the eyes. Okay, I'm going to untwist these bands again. Oops. We don't want them all twisted up. Okay. All right. Let's do the nostrils. So I'm going to take a black band and wrap it creating four loops. Actually, let's do five. Five loops on my hook. Take another, same thing. Okay, take solar blue, double loop it. Put it on your hook and pull. Nostrils on. And what we're going to do is we are wrapping the loops around that peg and this peg here, spread the nostrils apart. Take two of the four bands and bring them all the way down to the bottom, like that. Okie dokie. Take another solar blue and bring it across like that. And now we're gonna do, that was a double looped, double looped solar blue. Okay, now we're double looping our white. Okay, wrap the blue band around the tip, creating four loops, okay, and now we're going to begin looping, so go under that cap band to grab these bands first, so we to make sure we don't grab the horizontal bands. sure you're always grabbing the right ones and that they're not snapping okay just like that okay I'm going to loop up the center but not all the way quite yet okay I'm gonna loop up to here and now I'm going to make my horn so I'm gonna take solar blue wrapping it around creating five loops whatever color you want the horn to be double loop, solar blue. I'm going to make my horn pretty short because this is a baby. So I'm making it a little more, a little less um, pronounced than the big one. Another double looped. So, and then a third double looped. And I'm going to take three solar blues. Pull them on, reclaim, and three more. Like that, okay. This horn I'm going to attach to here so that it's bending upward. So if it's curved, you want it to be curving up when you attach it. And then you're going to loop the bands there so the horn can rest on the top of the bands. And loop the rest of the way. Okay. Now we're going to go up 
this column. It's okay if that comes off because it's looped, so it's not a huge, huge deal. Okay, now here I want to grab the two eye bands first, so the two white bands for the eyes, and loop them. Okay, and I'm going to loop up two here, okay, and now let's loop up the other side. Again, grabbing the two eye bands here, looping all the way up the edge, and looping up to here. Okay, we're going to take our ears. Okay, take one onto your hook. And you want to attach it onto here so the colored side is down, okay? So that when you loop it and you lift it up, the colored side faces that way, okay? Let's do the other one. Okay, so again, colored side is facing down. When we attach and when we lift, when we loop and lift, colored side is facing the end. Okay, tie your five ends off. And then with your hook from the bottom, we are very, very gently just lifting it off. Okay, it's gonna look weird, okay? It's supposed to look a little strange at first. Don't freak out, okay? <laughs> Don't think you did it wrong. This is only part of the head, it's only the top. We have a couple layers to go. So it looks like this, we can push the snout up from the bottom like that, okay? We have our horn, we have our two ears. Oh, it's going to be so cute. Okay, let's do the next part of the head. Okay, so again, I'm double looping my white. Okay, to the solar, okay, here, and here, so those were solar blue. Okay, take your hook and straighten out the band so they're not all twisted up. Especially since you work hard on these projects, you don't want them to look messy or like you rushed it. Okay, now take a solar white. I mean, I'm sorry, not a solar white. I'm so used to saying that from the other one. Regular white there, double loop and double loop here. Now you're going to grab one of your cheeks. 
I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the first set of loops on one side of one and pull off the tying band and wrap the loops around that peg. Then you're going to double loop up to here. Then you're going to go through the next set of loops and pull off the next tying band and wrap those around here. Double loop another, and go through the third set, and double loop another, And another. Okay. A double loop one more time. Then we're going to take two bands, bring them like that. Okay. Double loop. Here, here, and here with all white. Now I'm doing a solar blue there and a solar blue here. Okay, let's repeat that on the other side. So grab the other cheek. Go through the first set of loops, take off the band and wrap around, make sure the cheek is on the outside like that. Double loop a set, or a single band, and put it here. Go through the next set, pull off, and wrap around. Okay. Double loop another. Go through. Next set. Wrap around. Double loop. Okay, so same thing we did on the other side. Double loop another white, then take two whites. Bring them like that. Then double loop. And double loop. And double loop. I'm going to take a solar blue, double loop. Solar blue, double loop. Cap off. Actually. Hold on. Let me check my... No, we're not capping off. Just kidding. Okay, we're not capping off. Just take a solar blue and put a horizontal on like that. And then uh, take your whites. You know what? I'm going to straighten out my bands. There's my dog playing upstairs. I guess they forgot I was filming down here and they're throwing stuff and my dog's chasing it. Ah, so aggravating. Oh well. All right, just like that. Okay, now you're gonna take the top head part that you did and you're gonna flip it upside down and you're gonna go through the cap band. And you're gonna wrap the cap band around this bottom peg like that so the head is attached upside down. And we're gonna tug it back as we loop the band. So first those two, then these two, then these, and now here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. Sorry. Just 
just checking something. Okay, I'm going to loop all the way to the end. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of lift this gently. And I'm going to grab the two corner loops here on this side and wrap them around this peg. And this is how we're going to attach as we go. Same thing on the other side. So grab the two corner bottom loops, wrap around and loop up. And then we're going to go to the next set. Okay, so the next set on here, two corner bottom loops, wrap around, loop up. Same thing here. Now as we go up, it's going to get tighter and tighter, so what we can do is just lift it up a little bit at a time as we go, but not too much. So I'm just going to lift up a little bit, then I'm going to go for the next one here. Okay, so now there's the first white set. Loop up. This side, first white set. Loop up, and then I'm going to loop up two diagonals. Okay, same thing here. Loop up the diagonals and then attach the next set and loop up. Same thing here. Up. Okay. Lift up a little more from here. So again, so it doesn't get too tight. Okay, now I'm going to loop up once here and once here. Take the next set of bands and wrap them around this peg. Loop up. Same thing on this side. Wrap around. Loop up. Now you're going to count one, two, three, four, five sets from here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Actually, no, sorry, you're just going to grab the next. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, grab the next set of white and just loop it onto this next set. Okay, not quite there yet. Just like that. Okay, and same thing on the other side. Here. Okay, and now just loop all the way up. Here and up here. Okay, I'm going to lift up a tiny bit more here. All right. Now, two, three, four, five. <laughs> um, what I'm going to do is, if I did that right, um, I feel like I might have attached that wrong, but, no, okay. One, two, three, Okay, I'm just going to loop up this next set without doing anything. Sorry, sometimes I second guess myself and I really shouldn't. But don't catch the cheek bands. I just want to catch the. Okay, now I'm going to take the band that the eye's on, so the two bands that the eye's on, again, the bottom corners, wrap them around. those pegs there, okay? And then loop up the next set ever so carefully and freak out. 
because you think everything's gonna break. Roar. Then gently lift up a little more. Okay. Now I'm gonna go for the next section, or the next set. Again, the bottom corners wrapped around this peg. Down and loop up that set. Okay, same thing over here. Okay, I'll lift her up a tiny bit more. And uh, then I'm going to take the second to last set, wrap those around up, same thing here, second to last set, wrapped around, loop up. Now, I'm going to lift her up a little more, not all the way, oops, just uh, some more so that it's not so tense. Okay. We're going to take this first end here, go through the loops, and pull off the tying band, and wrap them around this peg. Then I'm going to take a double, another double looped white and bring it through. All these bands gather the ends, take that black band back, and tie off. Okay. So essentially we just added a set, we attached um, the end and added a set on. Same thing here, so go through the loops, pull off the tying band in the next section. Okay, wrap around here, then take a double looped white, bring it through all the loops, and tie that back off. Okay, now the middle set. Double loop, pull through, and tie off. Next set, make sure you don't skip any sets. Okay. Yay, okay, once you've done that, then you can finish lifting this off. Okay, now we're going to do her chin, okay, so I'm just going to take double looped whites, two, three, 
four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Goodness. I'm gonna go up there and yell at them after this. Alright, double loop your triangles. Well, I'm not gonna yell at them, but I never yell. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cap off here, wrapping around creating four loops. And now we have to take one or two loose bands and lay them on this peg at the bottom and then just take one and lay it on each peg on the edge. Okay. Alright, and now we can loop the bands so we don't want those loose bands to fall off. And we want to loop them as if they're not even there. Okay, oops. Grrr. Okay, go back through, grab the next two, which are these two, and go up. And then go up the center. Now we can tie these off with I'm going to tie mine off with a different color than I tied the top off. I'm just going to use this burgundy, this red burgundy color, just to tie off these ends instead of the black. It doesn't really matter, but I always like sometimes doing it in different colors so I can see what's what. Alright, so once I've done that, I'm just going to tug all these loose bands outward. Okay. I don't know what that is from. Anyway. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay it. Take your head, hold it upside down, and you're going to lay it like this. Okay. So that the bottom part where the cat band is kind of meets where her cheeks come in down here. Okay, and then there's no rule on how to do this, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to weave the bands through the head. So, so I'm going to start with half of this set and pull one of these loose bands through, push it down on my hook, go through the cheek set, pull the next set through there. Okay, and now I have one, two, three, four left. So maybe I'm going to go, maybe I'm going to skip one and go to this set, maybe. Okay, maybe I'm going to skip one and go through the cat band here. Okay, maybe I'm going to skip one and go to the next set here.
And then this last set, maybe I'll just put it on the one right after. Oops. So like right here. Okay, there's no real rule on which ones to pull them through. You just want it to pretty much line up with the black bands at the top. Okay, and you don't want it to be like completely obvious there. Okay, um... All right, let's do the other side now. So you want to pull the bands through exact the exact opposite bands on this side that you did on the other side. So the same ones on this side. Or at least try to make it close. Okay. Okay. So now I have two loose white bands here. Okay, one from each side. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab them with my finger and untwist that one. Okay. So I'm gonna grab like figures. Um, a C clip, which I have to go grab because I don't have them right now. Okay, so you want to grab a C clip. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is, see there's like a hole in here you can kind of... There's no rule on how to do this. Just go into the chin. Pull the two white bands. You know what, let's just C-clip them together, like we did with the big guy. Maybe that'll work. What if we just C-clip them together and then just tuck it in there? Kind of what we did with the, with the adult, we just did that. Yeah, that works. And then that'll be covered up when we do the neck part, okay? Now, if you want to add eyelashes, what I did was I took the clear sparkle and what I did was from the top, went into the eyelashes, or the eyelid here, from the top, pulled two eyelash color through, did a slip knot with them. Use my fingers to gently tug. And then you want to take scissors. You want to cut the ends. And then you can, okay, of course mine are bending the wrong way, but uh, then you get the idea. You can trim them to the length you want. Okay, like that. Of course mine are bending wrong, the wrong way. <laughs> but uh, sometimes you get lucky and they bend the right way, sometimes you have to redo it. And it's just, you never know how it's gonna look. Okay, this side looks a little better. So just snip them and trim them like that. And of course, I'm gonna end up fixing the other side because the other side looks bad. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you get the idea. And then if you want to um, play with this horn a little bit, you can always take like some glitter bands or something and just wrap them around a couple times and make a stripe pattern. Like, I'll show you how I did it with the adult. So you just take a bunch of bands and just wrap around the horn, making stripes. That's totally up to you if you want to do that. So go ahead and do that and uh, go to the next part. And uh, we will continue making her. See you over there, everyone.